Hi friends, welcome to The Hive. And today I wanna to show you how to wire flowers for a corsage or boutonniere. And I'm going to show you a carnation, a mini Gerber daisy, roses. These are Crespedia, hydrangea. And we'll use some baby's breath and some ivy. I do have some silver dollar eucalyptus here as well. And I'm just gonna show you how to wire different flowers to use in corsages or boutonnieres. I have a 22 gauge wire. Uh, it's a florist, a flower. It's floral wire. I have a 22 gauge floral wire. It's a little bit heavier than I normally use, but it's what I had right now. And it comes in this length. I have a huge box of it. I generally will cut them in half. And I'm just going to go ahead and start with a rose. So your rose is on a stem. I generally will leave your rose is on a stem and I will generally leave about an inch and a half or so of length of the stem take your wire that you've cut in half and put it into this bottom calyx and then bring it halfway through and pull it down. That is how you wire a rose. And I will show you how to tape. So you're gonna start that tape, your floral tape, clear up against the bottom of the head of the rose. And you're gonna wrap it around there. And you're, this is stretchy and tacky tape. So you twist, pull, turn, twist, and you're pulling down as you turn. Pull down and you're pulling. This is probably going to break. And if it does, it's okay. Actually, let me just show you. See, it just breaks. It just tears off. You can start it right back up. You're going to twist pull and turn all at the same time. Twist, pull, turn, twist, pull, turn all the way down. And you will seal that bottom stem to the wire. And that helps hold any moisture that's already in that flower, holds it in there. Okay, so that is how you wire a rose. To wire a Gerber daisy. I do the same thing. I cut a, about a couple inches below the head of the flower. Take your half of wire and you're going to poke it into the bottom of that flower head. And you're gonna poke it, pierce it so it comes out to the top. Do you see that? It comes through the center of your flower. You're gonna do a little hook with your wire cutters. So it looks like, looks like that. And then you're going to pull that down and it disappears into that flower head. See, I'm gonna see if you can pull it down. So then it just kind of disappears. Don't pull it through, but just down. Okay, so you've now wired that flower. Why do we wire flowers? So then when you are receiving all those hugs and everything, when if they break, they're not gonna really fall off. And it helps hold them up if they've had a long day, because they're, they're having a long day out of water. So that, that was a tape. Tape that on there. All right. Let's go to a carnation. Now here, these little bumps in the carnation, in the stem, I call those knuckles. So I will break it off at that knuckle. 
right there. I need to cut another piece of wire in half. And you are going to pierce clear through. Do it so you can see it. You're gonna pierce clear through that bottom calyx. And then you pull down. So halfway through that part of the flower, pierce it with your wire and pull down on each side so it's like a hairpin. You're going to start your tape up here at your wire, a little above your wire, and squeeze that and pull. Squeeze it all together. Now, again, you're going to twist, pull, and pulling down. So you're twisting, pulling down, twisting, pulling down, twisting, pulling down, twisting, pulling down. There you go. So that is how you wire a rose, a carnation, and a Gerber daisy. These are Crespedia balls. I normally don't wire them. And you can wire your ivy if your stems are not long enough. But to put a boutonniere together, I'm just using an ivy plant. Or if you want to have more control over your ivy, let me show you how to wire some ivy. I will generally put two leaves together, leaving the stems as much length as I possibly can. I will make a wire have a hairpin in it, so it's just a, a good bend. And do you see the vein of that center vein of the ivy? I'm going to go down on each side of that center vein. And I'm gonna pull it down gently to not pull through your ivy. Now take your stems and align it with your wire. And now you are going to, again, tape it together. It's twist and pulling down, twisting and pulling down. So now you have a little bit more control of where that ivy's gonna go because then you can bend it to be wherever you want it to be. All right, so I'm gonna just show you again. So there you have a little bit more control of that ivy and let's just tape that off. This is a nice little boho boutonniere if you'd like. Again, you're just twisting now all those together. And you're gonna give it enough length so you can pin the boutonniere or corsage to an article of clothing. Cut off your length. The extra stems, you don't need all of those. People would look at you weird if you wore all those stems. And then you have there enough. Some people will dress up the stem, whether they wrap it in ribbon, burlap, or whatever their theme is. Maybe you wanna have some baby's breath added in there. So just pull off. baby's breath and place it where you'd want. Looks good. Again, now you're just adding baby's breath to it and you're going to then add tape to it. Twist, pull, turn, twist, pull, turn, twist, pull, turn. 
Don't need that extra stem at the bottom. So let's cut it off to match the others. Sometimes to get a nice little finished end, tap it on the bottom. Make sure there's no wires poking out to hurt anybody or poke anybody. And there, you have a nice boutonniere. You can do that with hydrangeas as well. Be forewarned on hydrangeas if they're droopy. They are a droopy flower, they droop quickly. So they're not a great flower for corsages or boutonnieres, but I wanted to show you uh, how to use them. So a lot of times, let's show a rose. So a lot of times you can add it just like at the bottom there. And again, since you're adding, we, and I'm not wiring it because there's really nothing to wire to. So we're just doing a twist, pull, turn, twist, pull, turn, twist, pull, turn, dragging that tape clear down. And once you have all your flowers and greenery to make it your style, you can certainly then cut off, let's add some, Let's add some silver dollar uke. As our greenery, um, maybe you want a piece of ivy sprig coming out. Got a piece of ivy coming out. Maybe you need some baby's breath with that as well. You can add as little as you want or as much as you need. Arrange your greenery. Maybe you want some more baby's breath on this side. And if you're just making a baby's breath boutonniere or corsage, then you would just bundle your baby's breath, add greenery if you'd like, and just tape it off. I'll show you how to do that as well. So again, we're adding, we're added all our flowers to it. We're going to tape it off. We tape as high up on the, the stems as we possibly can. So I just broke that tape. So we're gonna go back over that. And you're gonna make sure you pull tight so nothing slips out. And you pull, twist, turn. Pull, twist. As a florist, your fingernails never look great, so ignore those nasty things. Now this is a cute, simple boutonniere or a corsage. Just add a bow. And you don't need to wear all of this. People would, again, look at you weird. So take your wire cutters. Give yourself enough room to wrap up those, to be able to pin on, I mean. And to finish that stem off, I go then vertically, and then I wrap back up. So you kind of have sandwiched that stem, and then wrap it back down. So there you have a finished corsage or boutonniere. Just add a bow if you would like to add a bow. Now for just a baby's breath boutonniere or corsage. Just bundle up however much baby's breath you need, would like, however big you want it to be. So that looks good. and bundle those with your tape. You're gonna wrap as close to the top as you want and start twisting, start pulling, start twisting, pulling, twist, pull, twist, pull, bringing that tape all the way down, just like so. Again, you don't need that much. People will look at you weird. So give it a little cut. 
You can kind of pull that down a little bit. And there you go. All right. So I've now showed you how to put together a rose, a simple baby's breath, carnation, Gerber daisy, and Crispedia balls. So if you have any questions or want to see some other flower arranging, this is great introduction to corsage boutonniere work for weddings or just something you wanna do on your own when you have special events. I hope you'll save this, refer back to this video. And again, if I can answer any questions, if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, leave me a like, share it out. We love to help people learn about flowers and how to put them together. So thanks again, follow the hive and we will see you again. Thank you.